price determination under perfect computation price and output determination under the perfect computation so as you know that in a perfect market uh, the main problem is for profit maximizing the firm is not determine the price of its product but to adjust its output to the market price so that profit is maximum I again repeat the main problem of profit maximizing firm is not to determine the price of its product okay but the very important thing is that adjust its output to the market price so that the profit is maximum the mode of price determination so price level and its variation it is depends upon the uh, time taken by the supply position okay and adjusting itself to the changing demand so supply position and adjusting towards the changing demand conditions so the price and output determination can be analyzed in the perfect computation into three heads there is a market period or very short period short period and long period let us learn one by one in the uh, detail so let us learn the market period so what to say the market period market period in the total output of the product is fixed so it is a market period since that the product is fixed and each firm has a stock of commodity to be sold to be sold in the market the stock of goods with all the firms makes a total supply and we know that the supply is the stock is fixed so that's why there is a perfectly inelastic supply curve in the market so what about the demand so example here the marriage houses or tents we can say that so for a marriage houses so for a season during a given season there is a demand for mar marriages so uh, the demand for the marriage tents increases because that particular auspicious day they want uh, celebrate the marriage of this daughter or sons because of that there's a more demand uh, and of course the supply of the tents is remain fixed that is an inelastic if it is a more demand for the given supply of the tent so then the price will be increased from uh, that is uh, op1 to op2 so that is why it is a demand determined price in the market so this is called as the uh, the price become parametric price for all the buyers those who are recorded so the stock on the given output remain fixed and as the given supply in elastic as a more the demand the price is increased so from qm2 and qp it is increasing because of increasing demand from d2 b uh, d1 to d2 so and again another important aspect is that so if the supply is decreases suddenly in the short period so that is called supply determined price in the market why there is a supply decrease in the market there may be a drought that existed or there it may be floods so in case of uh, maybe agricultural products a sudden increasing of export of products to other countries so and this is all the reason so there may be a supply decreased so that is why so there is a supply determined price so as you know that so this is a inelastic supply that is a oq2 and the demand is d is a demand and a q2k price or op price is the selling uh, the oq of quantity now due to the drought and maybe floods for agriculture products or maybe exported of special we can say that the onions so if you are exported more so then what happen here so there is a suddenly there is a increasing price because of shortage of supply because more we exported to other countries or maybe there's agricultural loss and that's why the quantity is decreased from oq2 to 
OQ1. And that's why the supply curve shift and still it is an inelastic. And because of that, as the shifting left, the price will be increased. That is a OP2. So this is a supply determined price in the short period or the market period. So another important examples in the supply determined prices may be fish market, maybe we can say stock market, okay, milk market, okay. So these are all the some examples. There's a supply decreases and the supply determined price as the supply is less, so there is a natural increase in the uh, price of the product in the short period. Now we'll see another important aspect that is a mark uh, that is a short run so short run we so far we discussed the very short period or market period now we're going to have the uh, that is a uh, short run so short run so it is also called as the uh, it is in which firms can okay change their sales or production or it may be quit or maybe new firms can enter into the industry. There is uh, some definition is given. So in the market period or the very short period, we know that there is a supply is fixed, but in the short run, there is a possibility to increase or it may be a decreased the supply. So, and that's why there is a little uh, changes we can see in the, uh, that is uh, uh, short run. So example here, the uh, now with a given supply SS and demand DD and the price is QP or OP1 in the market determined price and that is accepted by the firm where average revenue equals to the marginal revenue. Why? So here it is a single price prevail in the market. As a single price per unit price okay equals to the additional unit price that are sold in the market as you know that this is the average cost and the marginal cost curve so marginal cost curve is less than the average cost as the at the minimum average cost MC cuts afterwards MC is more than the uh, AC average cost now in this case in the short run so the Price, what is the price is fixed by the market that is accepted by the firms and the produced OEM of output and they are earning the uh, super normal profit also called as the economic profit so that is equals to P1T NE this much of profit the earning now in this case we'll see that even average cost is less than the average revenue or else we can say average revenue is more at the point E and average cost is N. So that is at the point N average cost. So now in this case, these are earning the super normal profit. So there is also possibility of incurring the losses. So why? Because as you know that as a more profit earning by the firms, new firms are entered into the industry. As you know that there is no restriction to enter in. So as because of entering, so this happens if the price is decreased from P1, so P1, Q2, uh, sorry, P1, P1, uh, P, Q2, P1, Q1. It is shifting the demand curve from DD to uh, D1, D1 curve. So this will force the, okay, the process of ad adjustment till each firms attain the new equilibrium point at the point E. Here again, form is once again AR equals M AR equals to MR that is equals to MC. So, but here average revenue, okay, still uh, average revenue is lesser than the average cost. See, average revenue is so much and average cost is so uh, sorry. Average cost is more and average revenue here. Average revenue, average cost curve is this one. And average revenue is a, that is a perfectly elastic. 
okay now average cost average revenue is less than the average uh, cost so due to that they are incurring the loss but since it may not desirable to close down why because it is adjusting the outputs okay to the om okay that is uh, om where it covers only marginal cost so the firm in the short run so they can survive so as long as it cover the that is a marginal cost in the short run if it covers the uh, uh, at least marginal cost in the short run it will survive because as you know it's in this point average variable cost is less than the average revenue at least it can able to cover a certain variable cost like the salaries that is a transportation or other cost so in the short run it will continue to run because it is covering average variable cost at least minimum uh, sort of average um, marginal cost so now so an important points to be noted here in the uh, that is a short run so firm in a perfect computation may be in a position to earn only the economic profit so it may also force to make the losses because when the new firms are enter into the market once they are earning the profit so once the market price for the product is determined market price how by demand and supply forces it given to all the firms and no firm is enough to make uh, influence to uh, prices to be changed so once market determined price is fixed so and no firms because all the firms are small enough they are not influence the prices so if a price a firm is fixed the price of its product lower than the market price example if it is selling the lower than the market determined price then it will loss a part of its uh, total profit or even may incur a losses or if it is a rise of product it uh, above the market price it may not be in a position to sell its produce in the market uh, in the competitive market because the price is very high so that's why no one will ready to buy the product so what is the only option is left for the perfect competition is to produce as much as it can sell at a given price and the price is fixed by the market process that is a demand and supply process in the short run now we'll see under a price determination in the long run so in the long run as you know that so this is the long run curve for example here demand and supply demand uh, d1 d1 and s1 s in the at the point here maybe uh, e a uh, point where it is a equilibrium and the price is accepted by the firms and where average revenue per unit equals to the additional units sold and received the uh, receipts is equal uh, now at this point the total price is the op op1 price and the oq uh, that is oq uh, sorry q1 m is a price a firm is receiving and here it is an super normal profit now what happened here due to uh, earning the super normal profit so many firms okay they are uh, profits lower other firms enter into the industry because of this the supply curve shifts to the right words that is a s2 and s2 because many firms are attracted so that the supply curve is shifted from s1 to s2 and because of that and this is a, again the new equilibrium point in this point where so here we can see that in this case the long run marginal cost it is just equal to this point and it is not able to cover the that is a long run average cost and even uh, average cost short run average cost due to that if it is not able to cover the uh, that is a variable cost the long run cost then it will quit 
uh, from the industry so as it quit then we can say that one then um, uh, supply will be decreased so as the supply will decrease the supply curve will shift to the leftwards that is a s yes so now in this case again the profit market determined price is a op not and it is a price is accepted by the firms ar equals mr equals lac equals lmc at the point equal where it is earning only normal profit so an important note here we need to understand here in this that so in the long run the firm can adjust their size or quit in industry a new firm enter into the industry so as the new firms are enter when when average revenue this average revenue is more than the average cost so then as because of that uh, more revenue many firms are entering so when average revenue is lesser than the average revenue this curve is lesser than the average cost then the firms make loss therefore the marginal firms the additional firms who are enter into the market so they will quit in the industry that causing the decrease in the supply and that's why the supply curve again shifting to the left word so as a right word shift in the supply curve supply is more as a more supply of course demand with a given demand more supply definitely price will be fall that will incur the loss and many firms quit from the industry and this is all about price and output determination under the market period short period and the long period thank you for watching